Good evening and welcome to another edition of Tottenham Transfer Talk with me, Jack Bryden. First up tonight, Spurs, according to French sources, Spurs have had a £6.1 million bid rejected for Toulouse striker Wissam Ben Yedder. Now, French sources also say uh, that a £7.6 million bid is more likely. He looks like a striker that we could potentially do with. You know, he's nippy, he's skillful, he's good with both feet. He reminds me a little bit of Jermaine Defoe, having seen some videos on YouTube. And he's certainly, at the age of 25, he certainly looks like a striker that Poch and Paul Mitchell would be interested in. Do you think that he's a player that we could probably do with? Or would you like us to go for someone else? Let us know in the comment section below. Second up today, Sky are reporting that Newcastle are in also interested in Sider Berahino amongst other premiership clubs. Now, it's, it's well known that uh, West Brom are going to want a, a figure near £20 million for the striker. And so, starting to look more and more unlikely that Spurs are actually going to get Saido Berahino. So, for those of you that want him, it's starting to look a bit more unlikely. So, I wouldn't put too much money on him coming to Spurs. If you look back at some of the videos that we've done with our man Greg Stobart from Goal.com, he's a man in the know and he also seems to think that Saido Ber the Saido Berahino interest is going to start fading because, let's face it, it's looking like it's not going to happen. Third and final news story for today is that Nathan Odoi is back from his loan spell at Rangers. Now, a bit of a mixed reaction from that, but I think it's a good thing for the club. He's not been on loan for very long there, but he's still managed to get himself to become a fan favourite up there. A lot of Rangers supporters wishing him well and a bit disappointed that he's leaving. So it can only be good for us because he's definitely a prospect for the future and he's a good player. Defenders up in Scotland were wanting to chop him because every time he got the ball, he did something threatening. So it's good to have him back. It'll be interesting to see what he does for the club over the next few seasons. And hopefully he can manage to get some first team performances in before the end of the season. So well done, Nathan. Welcome back. So that's it from me today for Spurs Transfer Talk. Make sure to give the video a like. Comment if you've got anything to say. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And make sure to follow us on Twitter at Spurred on TV. Come on, you Spurs. Good evening and welcome to another edition of Transfer Talk with our man Greg Stobart. How are you doing, Greg? Very good, thank you, Jack. 